क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दैट इज हाउ एच2 सफोर इज अ स्ट्रांग डिहाइड्रेटिंग एजेंट एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट इज एच2 सफोर इज एक्टिंग लाइक अ स्ट्रांग ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट हाउ लेट वी टॉक अबाउट दैट इन दिस टॉपिक So friends, as we understand that is H two S four is a very powerful dehydrating agent, but H two S four is also a strong oxidizing agent. So this is what I am going to talk about in this topic. Suppose if we consider that is hot H two S four and that also even concentrated, so that will produce H two O along with that of S O two and naked oxygen, and this naked oxygen is very much responsible to act like a good oxidizing agent. So for that we have certain reactions. So let us understand this reaction. That is, whenever the carbon is treated with that is two moles of H two S four, then this will convert this carbon into carbon dioxide along with that of two moles of S O two and two moles of H two. So here, the carbon which has no oxygen attached to it, but after the reaction with H two S four, there will be formation of that is attachment of oxygen. So thereby, basically, this carbon gets oxidized to C O two, and that's the reason that H two S four is acting like a good oxidizing agent. I talk about the next reaction that is, whenever the sulfur is treated with H two S four, this sulfur get oxidized to three moles of S O two by producing two moles of H two as a byproduct, and we understand that is H two S four is also a good dehydrating agent. So here also there is another example when that is white phosphorus whenever it is treated with H two S four, that is ten moles of H two S four, it will produce P four O ten along with that of ten moles of S O two and ten moles of H two. So here by the phosphorus is also oxidized, and that's the reason that H two S four is acting. Like an oxidizing agent. Talking about the next reactions. The next is P4O10 that has been produced in the previous reaction. That is what I have discussed. Suppose if it that is treated with that is six moles of H2, we'll get H3PO4 that is known as phosphoric acid. This shows that even different acids can be prepared. By using H2SO4, that is in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is HCl is also an acid that could be produced because of H2SO4. So now this is the example. So talking about the next one that it can also react with D block elements like zinc and copper. So whenever it reacts with zinc, so it forms ZnSO4 by elimination of that is H2, that is H2 gas. And suppose if copper is treated with H2SO4, so there will be formation of CuSO4 along with that of SO2 and two moles of H2O as a byproduct. So these are the certain reactions that is what I want to talk about. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly, and I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.